Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel, the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor. That's easy. I'll take the, uh, the little tiny little zombies. A hundred of them crawling all over you with their tiny hands. Uh, all I need is like a shovel. I'm telling you, way too easy. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Ruben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? What kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Can you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> Guys totally freaked out. That was uh... Ugh. Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. Cool mask. It is, isn't it? Yeah, very convincing. <laughs> the look on your faces. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. He looks awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Shears definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Steel, not too shabby. 
That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts, each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose, but if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally, he's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Ruben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben with us. We basically have no chance. Anything can happen, Olivia. Then why have we lost nine of these in a row? You can't, no, you can't look at this as a whole. The odds are refreshed each time. Maybe no one else will show up. Now you're being realistic. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then, so how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. All right, let's build the creeper. You're going with Axel's idea? What's wrong with my idea? Nothing. It could be totally cool. It is cool. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing them. We're so prepared, we can't lose, cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, 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 no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing, forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team! team. Prepare. Building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Oh, oh great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. 
Name, please? Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. We're the Dead Enders. Whoa. Sounds like a name for pirates. It's cool. Okay, Dead Enders. You guys are in booth five. Ah. Ah. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. Our design is better. A creeper that shoots fireworks is cooler than a fancy light. Their difficulty score is going to be higher than our total score. We've got something they don't. Fireworks. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look, it's the order of the losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. <laughs> I'm talking about your pig. Uh, you really shouldn't mess with Reuben. I do what I want. Besides, what arm can a pig do? Keep talking and find out. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Josie. Guys. Hey, Pe How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. May the best team win. Careful what you wish for. We'll see about that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition. The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet in person Gabriel the Warrior! Ocelot! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just make one up. We'll call it the... Uh... The Warrior Whip. Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Dead Enders can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build, and we'll worry about ours. Now, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. Oh man, that looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. The creeper was definitely the right way to go. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. 
Oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! It was Aiden, that punk. The lava's getting closer. We're gonna ruin the build. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. We've got to get Ruben. Ah! Oof. We're right behind you. Ah. Ah. I don't see him anywhere, Ruben. The sun's going down. We gotta find him, fast. He could have gone anywhere, and this part of the woods is huge. We stand a better chance of finding him if we split up. If either of you get lost, just use the lights from Endercon to make your way back to town, got it? Got it. Ruben, where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Could that be Reuben? He must have run by here. It doesn't look like this fire will spread. <sighs> I bet Reuben started this. Ben, are you in there? It's getting scary out here. Ruben. Ruben. Oh no, you in there, buddy? Oh jeez, please don't be toasted, Ruben. There you are. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> Ruben, run! <sighs> I think, I think we're good. Yeah. We made it! Stupid wooden 
sword. <laughs> No, it's mad. I'll think of something. <laughs> Too many of them, buddy. Don't leave that spot, no matter what. You hear me? <laughs> I've got you. <laughs> Get away from him! <laughs> oh no, he got you! <laughs> ah! 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 Get off me! Come on, let's get out of the open. I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. I, I, this isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. You risk your life for that dusty old skull? Oh, I risk my life for the thing I'm going to exchange for that dusty old skull. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's going to trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Is a wither skull worth that much? <laughs> Are you kidding? For all the trouble I had to go to get it, I should be asking for much more. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still. It's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know... You could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. You want me to come with you? Consider it my charitable act for the day. I'll consider it whatever you want me to consider it, as long as I get to come. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay, thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave us here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jack... Just place the pieces on the table. See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. Oh man, looks like Lucas and his ocelots won again. Sorry, Jesse, but you've got to admit, that beacon does look pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted this to be the year we finally beat that jerk. You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him, just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around, no matter what you might think of him personally. Yeah, you might be right. I'm just saying, if you run into him at Endercon, try talking to him. I don't need a lecture on the power of collaboration, Petra. How about a lecture on the power of my fists? It's short, but deadly. Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. <laughs> Creepers! Uh, Crap! Uh, 
This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. All right, let's jump. into the water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking, okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Or anyone. Should I be nervous about this? Given your personality, your life experience, and everything else you've done to make it to this moment, yes. Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Poor Reuben, what happened to his eye? We had a little run-in with some zombies. They whacked him good, but Reuben held his own. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jessie's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider-bait if she hadn't found me. I gotta admit, I'm pretty bummed they won. Again. I mean, there's no way we were gonna let you go after Reuben by yourself, but... It's okay to be a little disappointed, right? More like, a lot disappointed? Cheer up, guys. We'll get him next year. I don't know, Jesse. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is sad. Hey, if at first you don't succeed, then, uh, succeed later than originally planned. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right, the thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were going to head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay. New plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. You can't seriously think you're just gonna leave me here? If you can manage to stay alive in the woods, I think you can do the same here. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. <clears throat> ah! And just who are you? I'm waiting. The name's Jesse. What's it to you? I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now. Well? You're the guy who needed a wither skull, right? Not so loud, you idiot. Too many people know my business already. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... You do or you don't. You'd better not be toying with me. Take a breath, would you? I'll show you the skull when I'm good and ready. Unacceptable. I'm not wasting any more time with you. Ivor! Not a moment too soon. Your partner here almost soured the deal. 
Ah, well, that's not good. I left my friend Jesse here while I went looking for you. I've got what you ask for. If you have what you promised us... You didn't say anything about an us when we first met? And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? This is just a little misunderstanding. Maybe we should rethink the whole thing. This guy gives me a bad feeling. I'll give you a bad feeling if you ruin this for me. Proceed then. I'll take that diamond now. Take it. You've earned it. Uh, this isn't a diamond. No, it's Lapis. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull. I knew we couldn't trust that guy. Screw this. We're going after him. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. You'll make him pay, right? Right? Come on. Do you see him anywhere? We lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. Go. Step aside, I have just one question. Hold all your questions until after the keynote. The keynote sold out. Hold all your questions anyway. What's up? What's up? Nothing. What's up with you? Nothing. What's up with you? I, I just said nothing. I'm sorry you guys didn't win this year. It might have turned out pretty cool. If it hadn't, you know, burned down or whatever. We both know that if Aiden hadn't done what he did, my team would have won. Uh, <laughs> what we actually both know is that my team had the stronger design. But still, the way it all went down wasn't cool. Hey, you didn't happen to see a creepy guy with long hair and a beard roaming around, did you? I don't think so. Why? He kind of scammed Petra out of a diamond earlier. Whoa. Everyone knows you don't mess with Petra. Not if you know what's good for you. I'll keep an eye out, okay? Thanks, I appreciate it. So, uh, we're cool? Yeah, we're cool. Cool, cool. Too cool for school. Coolness. Ah, <laughs> see you later, Lucas. Yeah, see ya. Ha ha ha! I see you now, weirdo. Well, if it isn't Team Trash Bag, that was your stupid pig. I hear intense heat causes brain damage. Aiden, you idiot. Hey, who are you calling an idiot? You, now move. Hey. Hey, what do you think you're... What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Get away from me! I said I was sorry. <laughs> Ruben? Where'd you wander off to? Get your pork chops here. Fresh off the bow. Nothing sticks to your ribs quite like a juicy pork chop. Ruben! <laughs> What's the big idea? I'm trying to run a business here. That's my pig! You kidnapped my pig! Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Chief. I found this pig wandering alone in the streets. Not the fattest pig I've ever seen. Well, he should cook up real nice anyway. Please, he's my friend! To me, he's inventory. I might be amenable to some kind of trade. Not that you look like you got much of value. <laughs> and I gotta get some kind of return on my investment. Well, all I've got is this sword. Ooh, that's very nice. With this, I could cut my butcher in time in half. 
Nice doing business with you. Come on, Reuben. I'm sorry, Reuben. I was so busy trying to find that creepy dude, I didn't notice. Remember that thing I had to go do with Petra? Long story short, we met up with this guy, he cheated me and Petra on a deal, and now we're trying to track him down. You in? Oh, I'm in, all right. Any sign of him? I thought I saw him earlier, but it was just a false alarm. Wait, there he is! Looks like he's heading towards the hall. We're gonna have to get past that usher to follow him. Let's go! So, yeah, hey. What would it take to get us inside tonight? Uh, tickets? <laughs> Here's the thing, we had tickets, but we lost them. Ah, oh, man, I hate it when stuff like that happens. Ugh, me too. I, I feel like such an idiot. I'm sorry, but no tickets, no show. Chicken! 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 Oh! It's gone. You're totally fine. You were totally cool, dude. We have to do something. Like what? This show has been sold out for ages. I could bust right through. I just need a little wind-up room. As long as he's there, we won't be able to get inside. We need a distraction. A lot of chickens running around might be a distraction. Shoo, shoo! Get out of here! Usher is afraid of chickens. What would you say if I told you I want to break this guy's chicken machine to create the mother of all distractions? But you have to break that pane of glass. How are you going to reach it? Let's look around. There has to be something we can do. Hmm. I bet I could reach that glass with a slime block. Oh, hey, we meet again. <laughs> hey. One slime block, please. We don't give out slime blocks here, just slime balls. We've got a limited supply today, and we're only giving out two per customer. You could craft your own slime block if you had nine slime balls. I need slime and fast. But I just... Quickly, there's no time. Ugh, whatever. A round of slime balls for everyone, please. Wait, this is only eight slime balls. We need one more to make a block. Okay, we need to find another way to get some more slime, and quick. On it. Hey, uh, Lucas, can you do me a favor? Anything's possible. I need slime balls. I swear I have a really good explanation. Whatever you guys are doing, count me in. Thanks, Lucas. Told you he was useful. Aw, oh, man. This guy isn't actually cool, is he? Remains to be seen. It's crafting time. So, you guys been building together long? You've got good chemistry. Are you jealous? I'm just saying, I think it's cool you have a team that works so well together. You're totally jealous. How's it going, Jesse? You know how to do this. A slime in every slot, and uh, every slot, a slime. Ta-da! One slime block. Gross. I'll take that. Right... there. It's all you, Jesse. Give me a boost.
Where'd he go? There. Through that door. What do we do once we catch him? There are a million ways to play this. Whatever we have to. You're way more intense than I gave you credit for, Jesse. You ready? Ready. See anything? He must have gone out another way. What is all this? Looks like it used to be the basement. Weird place to have a hideout. I bet you anything I'll find my wither skull here. And if we find anything else cool to steal along the way, so be it, right? Axel, that's not what we're here to do. I did say we should do whatever we have to. And if this guy's not around, what we have to do is steal. I don't want to stoop to his level. But isn't that the best way to get back at him? I say we take whatever we want. Jesse, come on. What? He stole from us. We should be able to steal from him and not feel bad about it. The faster we find what we're looking for, the faster we can get the heck out of here. Oh, hello. Too heavy. And too soft. But super flashy. Yeah, I don't think this guy does much fighting. Hey, you still have that one stone sword, right? Nah, I had to give it to some jerkwad butcher to save Reuben's life. Jeez. Oh well, I guess that was a pretty good cause. Here. Now that's two you owe me. Thanks. Again. You're welcome. Don't lose that one. Ooh, take a look at this. You're not gonna believe me, but I swear I had a dream about this. Okay, Potion, I know this is a big step, but... I saw it first. Yoink! Hey, what gives? There's no way he won't notice his fancy potion is missing. A good thief always covers his tracks. Fixed it. Oh, yeah, the perfect crime. Is all this stuff? Soul sand. It was everywhere in the nether. What about that block in the middle? I've never seen one of these before. I wonder if I just take a closer look. Do you feel that? It's almost pulsing. Maybe it's some kind of machine. If it is, it's not like any machine I've ever seen. Don't forget what we're here for. Find that skull. So, good news, weird news. I found the skull, but... What the hell? Why'd I risk my neck for that skull if he's got two of them already? He was in such a hurry to get it, too. Maybe Ivor is some kind of collector, a trophy hunter. Or he could be collecting them to make a bunch of banners. I think I know what's going on here. Soul sand plus three wither skulls. That's the recipe for a wither. But a wither? That's... One of the worst monsters there is. We came down here to find the skull. Well, we found it. Maybe we should just grab it and get out of here while we still can. Uh, guys? Scatter! Don't you recognize me? Oh, wait. Surprised? To see me? No, that's not good. Thought you were rid of me, didn't you? That's better. What was that? Who's there?
Hey, you! What are you doing here? What did you see? Leave him alone. Yeah, back off, pal. You two, did you follow me here? You thought you could just screw us over and get away with it, didn't you? We're here to prove you wrong. What are you going to do about it? I have what I want, and you have exactly what you earned. We're not here to cause trouble. Just want what we're owed. I won't be threatened. Not by the likes of you. Hey, nobody talks to my friends like that. Now shut your mouth, or else. Enough! You've wasted too much of my time already. Where'd he go? If you won't leave of your own volition, <gasps> I'll happily remove you myself. Show our friends the door, will you? Here at Endercon, we are very proud to present the one, the only, Gabriel! 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 Please, we love you! please! Thank you. Are you with me? Everybody okay? Um, guys? Where's Lucas? I thought he was right behind me. Well, if he's not here, the only place he could be is... He's still down there! Ivor's got an iron golem and all the ingredients to build a wither down there. If he were to unleash it in this crowd of people, we have to act fast. It just so happens that the greatest warrior of all time is in the building. We should ask Gabriel for help. This is the smartest way to help Lucas. He's tough. I just hope he's tough enough to hold out a little bit longer. We need Gabriel to get Lucas back and to deal with everything else we saw down there. We're doing the right thing, Jesse. I just hope Lucas can hold out against that golem long enough for us to get help. Come on, then. Let's crash this party. With the right training and guidance, anyone, and I mean anyone, can become a hero. You just have to believe. I want you to look me in the eyes. And I want you to know that I'm looking into you. We just gotta push through this crowd to get to Gabriel. Start believing. Keep it orderly, folks. Whoa, right there in the front row. You know, when uh, Elagard and the dragon, um, like, what was her favorite food? Bread. Next question. Oof! Yes, next. What question do you have for the mighty Gabriel? Well? I saw something scary in the basement. I'm not following. This creep's been building a monster down there. I'm telling you, he's trouble. Is that so? Well, as you all know, trouble is what I do best. I'm not making it up. We really need your help. Hmm. Perhaps we should have this checked out. I have a question for you. Excuse me, sir. You'll have to wait your turn. Just tell me first. Do you really believe anyone can be great? With enough hard work? Yes. Was that where I went wrong? I simply didn't work hard enough? Ivor? Is that really you? How do you know who he is? I don't know if I ever really knew him. But what I did know, I didn't like. The feeling is entirely mutual. Why don't you tell them the real story, Gabriel? I see time has made you bitter. And it's made you an even bigger fool. Now these people were promised greatness, and I'm ready to deliver. I'm sorry this is how they had to learn the truth. Gabriel, you have to stop him! Nothing built can last forever, Gabriel. Ivor, no! 
Creature, attack! Looks like true greatness is out of his reach. He may not be able to defeat this creature, but I can! Creature! Retreat! <clears throat> creature! Retreat! Retreat, I said! Retreat! That's not working! Oh, no need to be alarmed, my friend. I have an elixir that will destroy this creature. That potion, is that? Uh-oh. Uh, what? Impossible. It should have worked. I took such care. It's the wrong potion. Jesse, you've got the real one. You thieves, you're ruining everything! Jesse, throw it! It's protecting itself! Without the command block exposed, the potion is useless! It wasn't supposed to happen like this! Ivor! You coward, come back here! Jesse, help me! Thank you. Ivor was right about one thing. I can't defeat that thing. Not on my own. Everyone's running away. Except for you. Will you help me? I must get to the temple. But what needs to happen next? I can't do alone. Of course! Follow me! down there. Abandon me. No, we were trying to warn Gabriel and get him to help. Jesse! Wait! Wait, we have to stay together! Jesse, help me! I can't hold on! Still have everyone? We must set out for my fortress. You'll be better protected there. Thanks for that just now. Yeah, well, now we're even. Stay together! 
together, everyone! We'll be safe as soon as we get to my temple! <laughs> Chamber is built entirely of obsidian. We should be untouchable in there. <laughs> Hurry! If you can get through the portal, you'll be safe! Uh, something's not right here. It's not lit! Everyone, get in! Now! Thank you. There are so many of them. I I can't save them all. I can't stop this by myself. We need to find the others. Others? Soren's been missing for years. But the others, you must seek them out. Take this amulet and guard it with your life. You can do this. What? Why me? I believe in you. Take the amulet. Take it through the portal, and then... You two, go through the portal and meet up with the others. I'll stay here and do whatever I can. Go on, Jesse, go! Get through that portal, now! Petra, you've got to go through the portal with us! Sorry, Jesse. This is something I've got to do. If anything happens, I'll meet you guys at the temple. Get through the portal! Jesse! Just hold on, Petra! I'm coming for you! <laughs> Where's Petra? We did everything we could. What are you saying? Jesse? What is he talking about? He froze. What does that even mean? What? No. You cannot. Petra is still up there. You cannot put that on me. I got scared. Just for a second. You got scared? It wasn't my fault. You got scared and it's not your fault? Back off, Axel. We gotta go back. No. We just have to wait. Think about what you're walking into. There's nothing you can do. You'll just end up getting yourself killed. You don't know that. You don't know. Hey, there she is. Again. Ivor. You ruined everything. 
Don't pretend you don't know, thief! You took my most valuable potion! More needless violence. It solves nothing. Learn the lesson now or you'll share Gabriel's fate. There's nothing left up there! Nothing but that wither storm. Why are we wasting time talking to this jerk? We have to go and get Petra. The girl! I saw her. What? While I was running toward the portal, I passed her. She was running in the opposite direction. Such bravery. Of course. There's a fine line between bravery and stupidity. And your friend has crossed it. Our friend is in trouble because of you. We're trapped in the nether because of you. <laughs> you have much bigger problems to contend with. Through that tunnel is a network of minecarts built by the Order of the Stone. It's your only way out. We should go that way. Time's wasting, let's go. I don't remember asking for your help. It's not for my sake. Yeah, well, keep it to yourself. There's nothing left up there. Nothing but that monster. What was that? I would wish you good luck, but luck won't carry you through the nether. You have my sympathies. Let's get out of here! Run! This must be what Ivor was talking about. Everybody, hold on! Wow. The nether. Yeah, that is a lot of lava. And fire. And other things that could burn you to death. Oh no! Oh, that's a drop. That is very, very much a drop. Talking about new guy. What drop? Oh, crap. You weren't kidding. Here we go. Seeing that we're running out of track, right? No! Good! Jesse, that switch! Now, do it! Oh, arms don't fail me now. <laughs> wow! I thought something bad was gonna happen there, but <laughs> I guess everything's gonna be. Whoa! Jesse! No! Whoa. Wait! Oh, man! Uh, Axel? Olivia? Ruben? Hang on, Ruben! Ruben! Okay, Ruben, remember how I said everything was gonna be just fine before? I know I was wrong then, but I have a very good feeling about it. Whoa! Well, gas are officially crossed off my to see list. Done with the gas, never need to see them. Oh, crap. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Everyone okay? I mean, I'm not dead. I guess that's pretty good. Ditto. 
Ditto with the not dead. I just can't believe that Petra comes down here all the time. This place is awful. <laughs> Your throat's gonna be sore later, Axel. Hey, speak for yourselves, you Freddy cats. Reuben and I handled ourselves just fine. Isn't that right, Reuben? <laughs> what? No! You screamed like a piglet is who did the piglet-like screaming. <laughs> Throw up like inside your body? Uh huh. I know because I just did. About five times. Wow. Look at this place. All these tracks converge at this point. You could probably get anywhere in the world from here. There's the portal. This is what Gabriel was talking about. That's our way out. It must lead back to the surface. The surface is also where that creature is. He's right. We have no idea what we're walking into. It could be dangerous. Thanks for being so brave, Axel. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm going right now. Like right, right now. Stop stalling! You said you would go. Don't rush me, okay? Here I go. Right behind you. Be safe up there, Axel. Ready or not, here I come. Oh man, that was close. I'm never going first again. Where are we? In the dark, in the middle of nowhere? Maybe we should bed down for the night. It's dangerous to be out when it's this dark. I thought we were headed toward a temple. We're looking for a giant building. It should be pretty obvious. Ivor no, said... No, Ivor said... Well, then maybe this is the temp... I'm being sarcastic. Axel, come on. Take it easy, Axel. He called me stupid. No, I didn't. But you wanted to. No, I didn't. Huh? Did you say something? We have to build a shelter. I thought that was what I said, but, uh... Yep, that's totally... <sighs> it's getting dark and stuff. I say we build a treehouse. That'll take forever, and we'll be exposed while we do it. We just need a quick and dirty hut. Look, whatever it is, we gotta do it fast. What? In a hut, we won't know what's coming until it's knocking on our door. Then let's build a hut. It won't take as long. It's not... That's it, Olivia. Jesse made the call. We should get started. All that work? And we're still eye-level with monsters that are trying to kill us. It's done. It's over. We aren't talking about it anymore. We could have maybe done, like, a multi-level thing, but... That's too late now. I mean, it's... It's cool. Let's keep it together, guys. Oh, man. What? I'm going to tell you something. You have to promise not to freak out. What is it? I have cookies. One for me. One for Olivia. One for Jesse. Thanks, Axel. And one for Reuben. 
Sorry, Lucas. I only have four. Oh, no. It's... it's all right. I'm not that hungry anyway. If you had to, which would you rather fight? A hundred chicken-sized zombies, or ten zombie-sized chickens? Choose wisely. Uh, that's a good one. Let me think. How can you guys joke at a time like this? Petra is still out there. She's all by herself. There's nothing funny about that. All right, no more jokes then. Sorry, I'm just... We all are. Fine. Then, uh, we should get some rest. We gotta start looking for this temple as early as we can. Now, my guess is if we start at the portal and kind of split Whoa, up... Oh, what are you doing? Did I do something to you? I'd really like to know, because you keep getting on my case for what seems like no reason. You can't just bark orders at us, Lucas. You're not the leader. what I tell you? Well, someone needs to step up. Well, it's not you. You're the only one wearing that stupid jacket. Don't tell us what to do. Take. That. Back. Can't. Wouldn't. You know what? I get to wear this jacket because I know how to build. But that doesn't mean I don't know how to break things. Your threats don't scare me now that we know how you really are. Jesse, your friend is way out of line. I wasn't going to bring it up, but I can only take so much. Let's just drop it. Don't be like that, Jesse. Just... Drop it. Haven't you done enough damage for one day? Petra might be dead because of you. You're taking this too far, Axel. I don't have to take this. Listen, why don't I just leave and let you guys hash this out? You can't leave. It's dangerous out there. I can take care of myself. It's what Axel wants, right? Let him leave if he wants to leave. Be careful out there. Always am. Add up all the times he was a jerk to us, and this doesn't compare. You're being ridiculous. And if anything happens to him, I'm blaming you. I didn't know it would rain. You feeling good about yourself? He'll be fine. I, um, I picked some apples. You are more than welcome to some if you want. Feel free. There's plenty for all of us. You sure? You got up early and did all this? I figure we have to eat. I like to get an early start. I thought you left. Yeah, me too. I got a tower up as fast as I could. I tried to do some thinking, but <laughs> it was too cold. And then it started raining. No, it's all right. It's just... <laughs> it's been a long night. I'm resourceful, you know? People always say that. And I am a good friend. Most of the time, I'm a good friend. Now, yesterday I wasn't at my best for one second, and it's like, none of that matters. Except for one thing. Petra still needs us. I let her down once. It won't happen again. We're in this together now. I'm with you guys. To the end. You're cool with me, Lucas. Thanks, Jesse. Me too. Thanks. If you're alright with them, then I guess I can live with it. Okay. I'll take that. <clears throat> All right, then let's head out. Look at that thing. What is it? Let's get a closer look. To 
This has to be the place. What is this place? That's what we're trying to figure out. It's the Temple of the Order of the Stone. Lucas, are you sure? He's right, look. Holy crap. Do you think they're in there? Let's go in and find out. Let's just all be careful. Okay. If you spot anything, call it out. We don't have a lot of time. Isn't it weird how dispensers are carved to look like spooky little faces? What do you dispense, little guy? I get the feeling that we don't really want to find out. Get behind me. Probably not a good thing. Oh, come on, dispenser faces. I thought we were friends. Run! <sighs> we're trapped! We activated the dispensers with that pressure plate. If we can figure out a way to trigger it again, I bet that'll shut them off. There's a crafting table. Maybe we can make something useful. Out of what? We don't have anything. All of our tools and materials are back home. All right, everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see what we've got to work with. I have a few sticks left over from building the shelter last night. I've got some flint and a piece of string. All I have are some chicken feathers I picked up after that chicken machine exploded. Well, let's see, I've got some flint and steel, a sword, oh, and some string from a spider that I fought. String, sticks, flint, and feathers. Ender's luck is changing. This must be their enchantment room. Doesn't this look like Ivor's creepy basement? was fierce, but the Order of the Stone emerged triumphant, saving the land and ensuring that peace and prosperity would reign forever. Well, not exactly forever. These five, five members, five friends, together would give so much to gain their rightful place as five heroes. They would author their own end. They would slay a dragon. Ivor was a member of the Order of the Stone? The stories never mentioned him. This is so crazy. There must be a reason he's never been mentioned. Maybe he was different back then. Maybe they kicked him out. Man, I can't believe you punched a member of the Order of the Stone. This is so crazy. The Order might not be what we thought they were, but Petra is still out there. That monster is still out there. Jesse's right. We need to focus on what we came here to do. 
Where do these stairs go? They go up. Now this is cool. Wow. What happened to the walls? More like what happened to this whole place. This must have been where they met. So where are they then? Gabriel said that once we find the temple, the amulet would lead us to the Order of the Stone. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out then. Is something supposed to happen? Well, that was a letdown. There's got to be something we're missing. Look around and see if you can find anything. It's the same as the amulet. Absolutely incredible! How did they build this? Okay, now I'm impressed. This is what Gabriel wanted us to find. It's the order. It's showing where they are right now. Look, we don't know enough about how this thing works. Maybe the amulet only tracks them when they're on the surface. Or maybe it doesn't work when they're in the nether. We have to go off what we do know. Look, Ivor's still out there somewhere. That Witherstorm is still out there. We know that Gabriel was trying to tell us something. We've got to find the Order of the Stone. But there are only two whites. There are only two members of the Order left? He said Soren was missing. That leaves Magnus or Eligard. I'm not going with you guys. I have to stay here. If I know Petra, she's probably doing everything she can to find this place. She's still out there. She has to be. But what if she didn't make it? Don't say that. Axel, Jesse's right. Petra might be... gone. If there's even a small chance she's alive. I'm gonna focus on making this place safe before nightfall. This temple is pretty big, though. If we're gonna have a chance at fortifying it, I'm gonna need some help. If, uh, maybe one of you guys could hang back with me? Sounds like Olivia will have you totally covered while me and Jesse are out finding Magnus. We think that's how it's going to go. We need Eligard. She's the world's greatest engineer. She'll figure out a way to stop that thing. We're trying to destroy it. And when it comes to destruction, Magnus is the master. You're a smart person, Jesse. And obviously, this... Get ready to roll, Axel. We're gonna go find Magnus. Let's do this. Olivia, you stay here with Lucas and get the place ready for when Petra comes back, okay? <sighs> Fine, but I'm only doing this for Petra. I'll take it. Uh, guys? Please hurry. Jesse and Axel return to the Nether, intent on finding Magnus, the rogue, and find themselves in a kingdom of chaos, full of dangerous people with poor impulse control and some deadly hobbies. While the great storm grows, consuming everything in its wake, time is running out for our intrepid heroes. <laughs>